Well, good morning, Enigmatic Nomadics channel. My name is Jax Austin. I'm a friend of Jamie. Uh, met him about, about a year and a half ago. He's one of the nicest guys I ever ran across. So today I'm making a video for him. As you can see, I'm at the van build party. And I can tell you from being here last year on to this year, uh, it has about doubled in size. There are many people in all types of backgrounds uh, from everywhere you can imagine, from Canada, all across the United States, probably other countries as well. Briefly, there's a solar uh, install area by that coexist uh, fan uh, flag, I should say. Beyond that is a carpentry. Over here is a main, uh, I should say, main area. Today's video, we're going to check out the uh, barbecue tonight with a really nice guy. So I'm going to document uh, the day uh, and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. All right, would you please introduce yourself? I'm Keith Becky. I work for, I have a little barbecue company called Keith Sierra Smoker and wanted to come here and volunteer some cooking for everybody, all these hungry crowd here that's working on the van build. Well, I, I, I can speak for everyone when I say thank you uh, and, and uh, in advance because um, this is going to be absolutely delicious. Yep. Now, you don't just have a barbecue. You have a barbecue on wheels. So what, what exactly is going on here? <laughs> this is actually a, a diamond plate uh, smoker from Texas. And we have an offset firebox right here, which has, we're doing apple and cherry wood in there. Yeah, we got a nice little fire going on in there. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. And it goes through the tubes right there, and, and it's called an offset. And it puts uh, heat, the heat and the smoke back here to the cooking area. Ah. Now what? This looks like we got some chicken on here. We got so. chicken right here, and yep. then space for oh, using rib racks. My God, you aren't kidding around here. Yep. This is a real deal. Yep. Five <laughs> racks of ribs and all this chicken. All right. Now, uh, what kind of temperature uh, do you have to have for something like this? Right now, I'm running about 225 to 250. Okay. And we put it on by 10 o'clock, and it will be. Done by four o'clock this afternoon. Awesome. <laughs> How'd you get into barbecuing? Um, I had, had a Corvette shop and I sold it and this was by do not compete. <laughs> 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 they can't say I'm working on cars anymore. Right. I just started barbecuing. But right. I started out uh, doing a little Friday night for friends at a, at a brewery and he asked me to do an Apple Hill season and during that Apple Hill season, um, I just was on a small little barbecue start at 11 o'clock be done by 12 30 so i had to buy something bigger or go home <laughs> yep <laughs> awesome so yeah so we just been doing this since 2004 this is quite impressive you mind showing me what else you're gonna make uh maybe some of the side dishes uh what we're gonna do the ribs and chicken and beans <laughs> great lots of beans we use like five different types of beans we have baked beans uh Pinot beans, black-eyed peas, um, black beans. <laughs> yep, yep. We got ranch beans, we got chili, and we just put them all together and it comes out pretty good, people say. <laughs> yeah? All right. So I'm going to check in with you a little bit later. Uh, how many hours should I set my alarm for to come back? Okay, if you want to come back, uh, you know, about 3.30 to 4, we'll be doing, we'll be some panning it up. Okay. Steaming it off. All right. Uh, my chicken likes to drink beer. So okay. So we have to put them in aluminum pans and give them a beer. Okay, Make perfect. Make them happy. All right. <laughs> All right. Is that going to happen before the 4 o'clock? Uh, no. It, it, right near, well, 3 o'clock. 3? I'll come back at 3 o'clock. We'll check in with you then. Yep. And we'll You're a good man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you got it. All right, guys. So we're back over here with Keith. We are checking in on the progress now. Earlier, I think I stopped by about 10 o'clock or something like that, 10.30. Now it is uh, I think about 3. And what has been happening over here? I notice everything is in... <laughs> yeah, uh, we put everything in aluminum pans. Okay. And then we go ahead and um, they like to drink. So we put a beer, in, we put a beer in them. <laughs> and, and so in each uh, a, aluminum uh, container, you put beer in there, huh? Uh, yeah, one beer and then like the chicken likes to drink and the pork likes to drink. So we just let that... <laughs> let it go. We have 
I think we're gonna have enough food for everyone. Oh my <laughs> gosh, look at this. This looks absolutely incredible so here. <laughs> Man, I'm very excited and very grateful that you're coming out here and, and cooking food for people. So uh, thank you very it's, much. It's I know I speak pleasure. for- It's fun to do. Um, yep. I don't have a restaurant or anything. I do it because I love cooking. Awesome. And, and I hopefully it shows in the food that you, if you love what you're doing, it's. You know, it's of not course. a monetary thing, it's what you'd love to do. There you <laughs> go. Well, like I said, I, I'm sure I speak for every single person here and, and, and by saying thank you for, uh, for cooking for us. Too. <laughs> that looks delicious. Are these homemade brats? Uh, no, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to do anything like that. But you do know how to make them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, yeah. uh, not to divulge your secrets, but uh, I see that you had a little dry rub for uh, the ribs uh -huh. and, and also for the chicken. Right. And so, you know, you're cooking it slow with the indirect heat. I do see some flames under there now. Yeah, this is just the last, um, the last 15, 20 minutes to get that beer steaming in there and make a, uh, make a nice steam in there. And it just makes everything real nice and moist. Nice. But yeah, the dry rub. Yeah, we had it on. We just did that maybe like 10 minutes ago. Oh, you so, put them in the, uh, yeah, to get them the drunk? Yeah, in the pans about 10 minutes ago. Yep. And it's like 3.30 or quarter to 4 and 4 o'clock we can start slicing. And 4 o'clock? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so so what, time, what time should I come back and get my piece? <laughs> I think you should be back in, in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes. All right, we're turning the video off. I'm going to go get a, a plate of food right now. So anyways... Uh, yeah, let's let's check out and see the rest of of the uh, setup here. Um, and if you haven't made it to one of these events, please come out on behalf of Jamie. Um, tons of very friendly people, amazing people. You will make new friends, um, and it's just a phenomenal event. And Jamie is one of the kindest people I've met in this uh, nomad community, and uh, just puts on an incredible event for people who need a little assistance with uh, an install or uh, some consultation and there are plenty of welcoming people to help everyone out here it's just a great event all right so it looks like we got part of the uh, part of the setup here and Keith has a story about the flag that uh, would you like to share sure uh, we were over in Hawaii at my brother-in-law's house and we were renting Harleys and we were gonna ride around the island and the neighbor came over, looked at the bikes, and said that him and his buddy like to ride bikes and everything like that. So he said his buddy didn't make it back from Afghanistan, and this flag was on his coffin. And he wanted us to take it to Pearl Harbor and see if they could take it. And Pearl Harbor said they have quite a few flags. So to honor him, we said we'd like to take the flag and bring it to all our events and all our parties. And so the flag is Dan's flag, and it goes to all our different parties. And it flies at all the different events that we do in his honor. So he's always at a party, and his, and his buddy just said that, that was him. So that's why we do it. That's a beautiful story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. Sure, no problem. Glad to do it. As I almost forgot to check in on the beans, and it looks like uh, oh, yeah. you're just keeping them warm, or is this how you uh, uh, this cook them? This is how we cook them all day long. I don't have to use any any gas or anything because the firebox right here is just like a stove top, and they just they just simmer all day. <laughs> wow. Uh, and is this... hopefully have enough for an army. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, we could probably do about four times that uh, amount of food because there's so many people here. Oh, more there, than... there, there is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hungry nomads, come early to the uh, <laughs> yes, community <indeed>. dinners. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will try to feed everyone. <laughs> Great. So, uh, what kind of uh, recipe, just in general, did you, did you do for the beans? In, in this one, is it's mostly canned beans. It's all canned beans, basically. Um, I do a chili bean, a baked bean, a ranch bean, black-eyed peas, black beans, uh, uh, kidney beans, uh, just every type of bean you can find, and we just throw it all together. Great. And just make a mixture. Any seasoning you add into it or anything no, special? No, I just, just... just this straight out of the can. Cool. People will pretty well like, like them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's just different because you put so many different cans in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious, so, so. we'll uh, check, check back uh, in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. So here we have the uh, communal barbecue dinner tonight. People are lining up. There's a queue forming. Let's go take a peek at some of the foods here. Ooh, look at that. We got some salad spreads here. 
Looks like a uh, green so, solids off to the right. Hey, uh, you like this? Great. Looks like some chicken that somebody brought, some rice. Blue Sky likes Ooh, it. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Blue Sky likes it. <laughs> Got some brats, some beans, some chicken, chicken and ribs. Wow, it looks absolutely delicious. You guys excited for some barbecue? Yeah! Yeah! All right. How was it so far? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? What do you think of the barbecue? The best part about Blue Sky Energy and coming here to the barbecue <laughs> is the barbecue. <laughs> And the people. Mmm, that's my spread. What do you guys think? Comment below. This looks like a balanced diet to me. You got meat, you got beans, you got mac and cheese. How's the barbecue? Great. All right. Good. All right, guys, what do you guys think so far? <laughs> it's great, huh? Still my teeth. <laughs> awesome. There's a lot of people working so hard. It's just great. You know, all the volunteers, everybody. Such a great job. Yeah, it's very cool, huh? Good time. Wish you were here. <laughs> Perfect. What do you got there? Not enough. <laughs> Did you get rid of paint this afternoon? Almost, almost. almost. Uh, that's a good choice with the ribs. Excellent choice. You hungry? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just want to say thank you so much. It was incredible. One, two, three! There we Thank go. You. <laughs> Thank you from everybody here. Alright, you're welcome everybody. <laughs> Yee! I'll just keep bringing it out. <laughs> the star of the show. A lot of hungry souls fed tonight. <laughs>